Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. We have got stages five and six today of the Flamme Rouge Racing Tour France. Um, and we're just coming off the back of a rest day. Now you can probably see uh, the course that I just put up. So it's uh, Bologna, um, but it's not just a one lap um, of Bologna. It's actually up the top of Bologna, all the way back down and back up again. So very, very attritional race, um, but we are coming off a rest day, so we should be okay here. I should be okay here. Now, the plan for me um, after watching, I think it was, um, I think Shane Miller did a, a video on how to set the best time up here. The, the key was to kind of put like just below threshold what's on the flat bit here. And then when I got to the actual climb itself was to uh, kind of put a few more watts down um, and really you know, make up a lot of time on the incline. So that's what I was trying to do. Now, I have to admit, I felt super comfortable right now. And as you can see by my little power gra graph down the bottom, things are going pretty well, you know, feeling feeling good, um, kind of midway through the field, uh, not worrying about, you know, people coming past me. And I, I feel like I'm in a really, really good position at the moment as, uh, as we come to the start of the incline here. Um, and yeah, very, very painful again, but I just wanted to kind of hold above threshold here, not go completely, um, completely crazy with the power, but just do enough so that I, I make up quite a bit of um, time up here. And then, you know, I have got an opportunity to rest on the, uh, the downhill. Now I am currently sitting third in GC. I might've said that already, but I'll say it again. I'm currently sat third in GC. I'm about five and a half minutes behind first place. So, um, you know, now is a real opportunity to start eating into that time gap if I can. I feel like I've got a good opportunity because I'm not, I'm not the worst climber in the world. It's not kind of my best attribute, I would say. But, um, you know, I felt like giving this one a real go. And I've not actually raced Bologna uh, for a very, very long time. So I was pretty, pretty excited about doing this, um, this course. Now, as you can see, we're kind of coming up to the top here. I think my best time is around uh, 19 minutes and 40. So yeah, just kind of giving it everything I've got here. It kind of flattens out. Now, something else that I've become very familiar with is what kind of percentage um, I feel most comfortable on. And I have to admit, between six and 7% is my, my sweet spot um, as we come up to the top here. And yeah, I think I got a 19.25 the first lap um, and then just try and get some rest on the downhill. Now, as you can see, we've got Alejandro again um, in front of me as we, we go back to the bottom and kind of start the loop again. Um, and yeah, feeling pretty good at this point. I'm just trying to kind of do a steady pace. Now, I am going to slip a little bit with the power here. I don't want to go too crazy because I know that I've got, you know, a good probably, um, at, well, at least 10 minutes to go um, yet. So yeah, just keeping a little bit in reserve um, for the actual second time up the climb. But feeling pretty good um this was probably for me one of my um my best kind of races that i've done as i say i've you know i've done a lot of threshold um this week um i think it's probably the most threshold work that i've ever done and yeah it, i would say it's really really benefiting me uh doing these races because i really feel quite comfortable sat at sort of like 260 um at the moment uh which is you know, which is really good because I remember a couple of weeks back when I just started getting back into my uh, Zwift racing, I was finding that really, really difficult. So yeah, pretty good, pretty happy with that. So we should just be coming up now to uh, the incline and Alejandro says kind of go for it um, as I as I do here. Um, and I know I've just got to empty the tank uh, the best I can. Once again, I'm not worried about others coming past me. I'm just trying my very best to uh, to put my kind of maximal effort in. But once again, knowing that we've got a big stage coming up tomorrow, um, which you'll see in a very short while. So although I am giving it pretty much everything I've got, I have got one eye on the rest of the week. You know, we've got some very tough stages and, you know, so far so good for the, the Flam Rouge racing. I am just, you know, super impressed with how it's been run, how the leaderboards are updated. Um, the courses are interesting. Um, the people seem, you know, friendly, lots of banter going on. So yeah, really, I mean, just really happy with it. And it's, it was just a really a personal target just to complete the tour itself and not really worry about where I, you know, where I finished, but it just so happens that, you know, in third position at the moment, I'm doing pretty well. So just got to keep that going really. Um, so we're almost near the top again. And, uh, yeah, this is probably the steepest bit here. Just trying to give it my all 
Uh, now I've not got long to go. And actually I think the finishing line is not quite the top. I think it's about 50 meters past the very top. So yeah, just doing my best to hold on now, put in kind of the last little bit of maximal effort that I possibly can, coming up to the top, go through the finishing barrier here. But as you can see, we've still got um, a little bit to go here as we come on through. So I was really happy um, with this. And as you can see, uh, by the results. It's kind of still kept me in third place. I'm still five minutes behind, but I have made up about 30 seconds um, on GC for the first position. So really quite happy with that. Now we move on to stage six, and this is La Reine. Now, what I didn't know about this course is we go up the Petit KOM first of all, which is fine. And then we kind of, the course itself said we went up, you know, halfway up uh, Von 2 or Ventop as it's called in Zwift. And amazingly, we, we don't stop at the halfway point. We go all the way to the top and then a little bit kind of down again. So I was really, really nervous um, about this one because I didn't want to, you know, I knew this was probably going to be around about a two hour effort um, and I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to blow up very early. So I kind of let the front pack go here, which was, you know, that's absolutely fine because it's a long old race and we're only 10 minutes in. Um, so... I've just once again want to do um, the power that I know that or I think that I can do, um, hold a very kind of steady pace and not, not overdo it. So we come up the Petit KOM um, for the first time here. And yeah, just, you know, I do kind of already start to um, pull a few back already, but I'm not worrying about others in this race. All I'm doing is going at my own pace and trying to do the best I can. Now, this track itself or this course is probably not the most interesting, if I'm honest with you. Um, it is very much a, it's not like the Alpe de Zwift or Alpe de Wes, uh, which has got kind of like lots of different turns. This is pretty much a straight line. Well, give or take a few, there are a few corners, but it's pretty much a straight line all the way to the top. So um, I've just, this is a real mental game, this one. It's a real mental test for me. Um, so yeah, we're just coming up to the top of the Petit KOM. You know, we're 20 minutes in and already I'm kind of thinking, well, that's great. We've got another hour and 40 minutes to go. Um, as I say, it's very testing mentally. But um, I actually wasn't feeling great at this point as well. After the um, the kind of ITT yesterday, I was um, a little bit worried, if I'm honest with you, that things were going to, I was going to implode um, and completely crack. But, you know, I just... I just focused on doing what I thought I could do. Um, my cadence, now that's once again something that I've learned quite recently is the fact that my cadence, I feel very comfortable around 75 to 85, I would say. Um, I don't really like dropping too much lower than that, especially up the uh, the inclines because it really kind of hurts a lot. Um, and I don't really like going above that because I don't think my cardiovascular, um, my cardio is kind of that good. Um, so yeah, just like whatever works for you, really. My my preference is around, you know, as I said before, 75 to 85. So yeah, I'm just kind of casually making my way up, um, trying to keep myself interested by looking at things around. Um, but unfortunately, once again, this uh, this course hasn't, <laughs> it's not got that much to look at. So yeah, it's just a case of, uh, I don't know, I was kind of reading the comments. I had some music in. Um, I, you know, as you can see, there's a bit of green there. So there's a bit of zone three, um, which I kind of allowed myself to do. You know, we're 48 minutes in now. So, um, you know, I'm just very focused on not cracking, not like completely bonking. And I, I had um, I had some SIS uh, gel um, and uh, an SIS drink as well, which is the first time I've actually had um, one of those. And it seemed to work, it seemed to be okay. It kind of tasted a bit like um, I just put a load of sugar in some water, uh, which I know um, that's kind of recommended. Durian Rider does that a lot, doesn't he? Sugar and water. So yeah, I think that probably kind of helped me as well. Just making sure that I fueled right all the way to the top um, and not, you know, give away my my GC. I think Alejandro's a little way back on this one, but um, still um, a great effort from him. Well, it's, it was good to chat as well. Um, it was good to have that kind of, sometimes it would just sort of take your mind off what you were trying to do. And you can see we've got 9.1 miles left to go and we're an hour and 10 minutes in. So it really is just, I don't know, 
trying to focus really. Now, this was the first point that I actually got quite excited because you can see the top um, of on two there. Uh, you can see the little tower, or I could see the little tower. So I thought, okay, not too far to go. Um, I mean, realistically, there was a long way to go, but mentally that really, really helped me. And I kind of found myself a little, a little target up ahead to try and chase. And there wasn't too many, I couldn't see too many of my category around me as well. So that was um, pretty pleasing and kind of just coming to the, 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 the top here. I felt we were, well, I felt I was very, very close. Um, my legs were getting a bit kind of cramped up at this point, but you know, I can see the tower. I'm very, very close. Um, I know the remainder is going to be sort of the downhill. So I get an opportunity to, uh, uh, to rest, which I cannot wait, frankly. Um, so yeah, just coming up to the top here and I was really, really happy with my effort. Um, didn't really drop into zone two at all. Yes, a little bit of zone three, but it was mainly kind of a good threshold effort for an hour and 43 minutes. So now it's just really a chance of spinning it round and trying to get it down to the finish line as quick as I possibly can. I kind of did a, a few little um, a few little squirts or bursts of, uh, of power just to kind of make sure that I'm, you know, going as fast as I can down this decline because I had the lightweight wheels um, so I didn't have any kind of like a you know aero wheels or anything like that and uh, yeah 0.7 to go 0.6 to go just really empty in the tank now um, but also it was nice to get a little bit of rest if I'm honest with you and as we come through the finishing line here I did get pipped on the line but I wasn't really too fussed about that um, amazingly I won the stage um, I got the quickest time out of any of um the people in my category and I am I would say that that's probably my best race that I've ever done um, I actually moved up second in the GC um, I made two minutes um, on first position which I'm just super happy with it's probably as I said before it's probably the best race that I've ever done I also managed to uh, move up in the uh, King of the Mountains uh, jersey so I'm now third in that and obviously the green jersey we don't care about that one at all but uh, yeah Anyway, we've got a massive one tomorrow. We have got the Queen stage. So thanks for watching the video. Let's uh, see what we can do tomorrow and I'll see you on the next one.